Hello and welcome to Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town. It is day 24 of spring and a rainy day. Let's start by getting Lisette her peach. Good morning, darling. Oh, yeah, I do take good care of my crops. Good morning, Snowdrop. We'll let Magnolia sleep. Let's put away those logs at least to um, make a little more room in our inventory. Hmm. We'll have to um, make some more of them. Um, of some of those different kinds of lumber at some point. But for now, let's go and see the Earth Sprites first and then take a look at our spring garden. See what they've uh, got for us this time. And back to the farm. We are going to sell most of that, I think. The fish. And the um, iron and silver. And the logs too. And the other grass. Now, let's see about our spring garden. We have turnips, garlic, and uh, that's that actually. Let's sow these seedlings, well, six of them, and um, see about which seeds we want to sow into that empty field. Hmm, strawberry, I think. So we'll leave the radish seeds here. We already have garlic seeds, so let's just make turnip seeds. And yeah, we'll sow the strawberry seeds. The trees weren't harvestable yet, were they? No, they are like right on the brink, but not quite there yet. Just thinking about that Genovese pasta and the giant avocados required for it. Hmm, maybe we should plant a couple more avocado trees into into the um, spring garden. Good morning, Magnolia. Just, um, well, just to increase the odds of um, getting some of those giant avocados. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Where do I have the avocado's hat? I'll need to grab one and make some seedlings. Ah, oh, there they are. So we'll put that avocado into a seedling maker and then we'll have um, some 10 star avocado seedlings. Oops, there it is. Yeah, we'll double the number of avocado trees we've got in our spring garden and um, that ought to increase the odds of um, getting giant avocados. So we'll get to actually make that Genovese pasta for Lovet. As for the other dish, the uh, mixed black and white entree. Well, I'm pretty sure it's going to be one of the mixed rice dishes. So we'll just wait till we've got some rice. Hello, Ash. And then we'll get to making those and uh, hello, Dandelion. Acacia. Athelia. And we'll see if any of them qualifies. Blossom, Daisy, Arlo, thank you all so much for the fur and wool. Here's some food. Hello, Mimosa. Sonnet, Saffron, Columbine, Clementine, Ginger, Hibiscus, Thank you all so much for the milk. Here's some food. And we'll see about the chickens too. Ah, a lot of stuff to clear here. One tree sapling. Hello, chamomile. Poppy. Ruby. Apricot. Nettle and Limerick. Thank you all so much for the eggs. Here's some food. And now to process all of that. Well, almost all of that. I think I do want to leave the 10 star milk for the fridge. To use in our various cooking efforts. Perfect. 
pansies. Now, it is late enough in the season that I'm not going to sow any more flowers, I don't think. But I will make seeds for next spring. So, um, we'll wait for the uh, seed makers to be done. They are still processing the, um, the flowers we put in yesterday. So, we'll need four of those for honey and three for, uh, to be made into seeds. Right. We'll just uh, do this while we wait for the seed makers to get done. Almost. We'll just um have to wait a tiny little while. Should be done any moment now. seeds and a couple more over here okay these are not quite done yet we'll have to wait oh yeah we'll um, we'll need to put the seeds we just took out of the seed makers into here buttercup seeds We'll put the grass in there and then we've got a few things we can sell and some stuff we want to put into the fridge. So we'll do all of this while we wait for the spore makers to finish. Oh, could have sold the uh, cheese. All right, we'll put that fodder away. And actually, I think I would like to buy a couple of big barns and a big coop so we could kind of um, start planning that third farm area. Close on Wednesdays, today's a Tuesday so we're fine. Hello. Ah yeah, the uh, big coop and farmer under here and we'll need to bring in some resources for those supple lumber golden gods and tough grass here's the thing though i think the supple lumber was the one that we only had like 10 or something of so it may be that we'll need to come back in a couple of days to get the big barns and big coop. We'll, um, we'll see.
Yeah, we only have 11 supple lumber. Uh, too bad. Can we? Hmm. That one lumber maker is not quite done with the Mirage lumber yet. But we can put supple logs into those other two lumber makers. We'll do that. And then once that third lumber maker is done, we'll make supple, supple lumber in that as well. Hmm. I guess we might want to make some more silver ingots and definitely want to make some more bricks because we need a lot of both for the uh, for the pumps that we need to make in order to repair that hydroculture facility up there. Alright, that's a lot of silver ingots in the making. are going to have to wait a while but um that's fine because we still need to clear the area to put them in so we might do some of that today Actually, I don't think we have anything else to do today, do we? So we could just spend the rest of the day here, clearing the uh, space. Hmm, what do we want to do with this space over here? I'm probably going to put some decorations into it. We'll see. Maybe bring some decorations over and see just how much of a space we have to work with here. Or... Maybe we could put some makers down there. Like, um, if we put the coop and the barn, um, kind of up there, above that path, then down here we could have, uh, the makers related to eggs and milk. We'll see. Maybe... Maybe that could be an idea. And as for what to put around this pond here, because eesh, it is ugly. Just to make it a bit less of an eyesore. Maybe we could put some fences and animal topiaries around it. Hmm. I think we could make it cute by um, using those. We'll just have to see about which kind of fence would be the nicest. And um, maybe try out different things. And uh, see about making some animal topiaries. Yeah. I think we might be able to make it pretty. 
Or at least less of an eyesore. I may want to move the stable there. Hmm. To kind of, um... Have more room to decorate around the, uh, this pond or lake or whatever it's called over here. But yeah, I'm thinking some fences and animal topiaries might look nice. It is getting a little late though. So, let's start putting things away, just to make sure that we get to bed in plenty of time before 11pm. I think we'll sell the grasses. And, um, we actually have some decorations in here. We have the, uh, cart and giant milk tanks. Hmm. Maybe tomorrow we'll see about um, decorating around that lake or pond in the third farm area. Tonight we only have like one in-game hour before we need to start heading for bed. So, um... Not much time there. These mortar fences and the mortar gate might look nice. And, um, maybe we'll have to see about the mortar road as well. Do we want to replace our stone roads with some mortar roads? Hmm. Yeah, we could see about that tomorrow. Some mortar fences and animal topiaries around that lake or pond. See how it looks. Oh, and some stone lanterns too. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I'm starting to get a little bit of a picture together here. We might, um, try some stuff tomorrow. So, if we're going to do the mortar road and fence uh, thing, we're going to need a lot of clay. Since we have a little bit of time to run around before we need to go to bed, let's scoop up some puddles and get us some of that clay. We'll, um... Oh, we actually got some fulgurite too, huh? Hmm. We'll put the clay in our inventory. And the stone roads can wait in there. The fulgurite goes in here. Just in case we need it at some point. Oh, 
All right, let's wish our cats good night and uh, head to bed. It's already past 10 p.m. And tomorrow, we'll do some decorating around that pond or lake. Thank you so much for spending time with me here on the Mellow. It was lovely to have you. If you'd like to show some support, please leave this video a like and perhaps a comment too. I'd really appreciate that. And if you're not already subscribed, then please do subscribe to conveniently keep up with my content and to show me that you want to keep watching my videos. Remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you next time.